Hey everybody, it's Healthy Prepper here. And this morning, it's time to think outside of the box. That's right. Um, thinking about tampons and other other than obvious uses for preppers specifically. Uh, what can these little guys do that um, are fabulous little ideas and tips and tricks to know, kind of MacGyver-like, especially in the prepper world. So let's get started. First one is let's say you're in a burning building and uh, there's smoke coming under the doors and you have no idea what to do but you're standing there with your box of tampons and uh, you can actually line these along the the, uh, the crack under the door and flood it with water and they will expand and hopefully fill the cracks so that smoke doesn't pour in under the door. These can also be used to fill in cracks in windows and the like if you were in the same situation. Um, God knows if this would actually work for nuclear fallout as well, but hey, anything in a pinch. So never underestimate the power of a tampon. Um, the next thing would be, these things are great to clean the inside of any kind of pipe or tube. You can insert it, add water, it will expand. These things expand like crazy in water. And then basically almost like a bottle brush, you can pull it out by the string. The strings are you know, very strong, and uh, you can give it a good pull. So that will help wipe out any kind of tube that you're working with. Um, another one would be dental uh, cotton packing. Let's say in an uh, apocalyptic pinch, somebody's having a horrible toothache and they, you need a tooth extraction and there's no dentist to be found. Well, there you are trying to pull this tooth out. You've already done your best to um, maybe give the person a swig of bourbon ahead of time, but you can use this for packing on either sides of the teeth. And also once the tooth is extracted, this will work with uh, kids who've lost a new tooth as well. They can bite down on this because it's, it's, it's quite firm um, as it's all packed and condensed. So it's firm and it's dry and it will absorb very well. So you can have them bite down on that to help absorb the blood and saliva. Um, the next thing, heh, Handy dandy paintbrush or applicator. Let's say you cannot find the one you need. Ah, you've always got your handy dandy tampons. Um, and if you're a guy, hopefully you're helping couponing with helping coupon with your uh, woman and you've got extra tampons you don't know what to do with. Dab, dab, dab. Whether it's paint, glue, um, epoxy, I mean, anything that you're working with, silicone, that kind of thing. And um, these things are fairly firm. Um, so in a pinch, not a bad idea. Okay, um, obviously uh, you got a um, emergency spill. Let's say you've spilled some gasoline, which hopefully you never do in an apocalyptic pinch because you really need the stuff, or you've spilled um, anything of a toxic nature. You can always put a bunch of tampons on it to help absorb the spill and then pick them up by the strings and toss them away. Um, a very crude toothbrush. I know, gross, disgusting. This is in worst case scenarios. So it's firm enough and it'll fit in the mouth, so it will work in a pinch. Now you might even want to use a smaller one for that just because it might be a little bit more comfortable. But um, either way, another function. And then another one would be, um, oh, okay, so. Uh, this might be able to act as a filter, a very crude filter, a water filter in um, emergency situations. Let's say you don't have any regular type of water filter and you're already trying to, you, you, you can't, don't have any charcoal or sand or layers of um, uh, coffee filters that you can use. You know, coffee filter, charcoal, uh, sand, coffee filter, charcoal, sand, coffee filter, you know, and then pour the water through that. Um, if you don't have that, uh, if you put these, basically the same idea, you can put these between um, coffee filters or you can put these in some type of tube to draw water up that would have some uh, like screen or filter at the top that would stop it from advancing into your mouth. But it's a, it's a very crude filter. It's better than nothing. It would catch large particle um, uh, material and waste in a, in a severe, severe pinch. Okay, um, earplugs, yep, let's say there's a lot of gunfire going on or you're planning a massive, uh, um, you know, protective, uh, you're doing a training uh, session with your uh, rifles or guns and you don't have your earplugs, uh, let's say they're all gone and nobody's making any more, well, there you go, folks, one in each ear and uh, that will definitely help the cause. 
And let's see. Oh, um, fire starter material. Uh, this can be, this can flower out, you know, and see these, these little guys do really do spread out. Um, and you can tear this stuff apart and, um, use it as fire starter. Mix it with a little bit of uh, petroleum jelly. Makes a great little fire starter. You can roll these up or you can leave them as is, dip them in petroleum jelly and put them in a little wax or a little, um, Ziploc baggie and put them in your, um, bug out bag or, uh, you know, anywhere you might need emergency fire starting. Um, how about the, uh, the car trunk, uh, you know, sealed up, of course. All right. Um, and, uh, obviously you can also use them for some type of compression bandage. If you have a, a large gaping, not large, this, not larger than this, but some type of gaping wound and uh, you're not able to put it together, you can open up a tampon and place it on there, compress, put pressure on it, and that will help um, absorb, dry, and uh, keep it clean because these are sanitary, sanitary napkins, you know? Okay. Um, and the all world famous, um, stop nosebleeds. That's right. Um, your little gipper has been too much picking, been picking too much, or what have you not. Um, either way, uh, these are great um, nasal tampons. Uh, obviously, be very gentle. Um, find a small one. You can insert these in the nose temporarily to put pressure on the little bleeding vessel, and um, you know um, it's good in a pinch if there are no other alternatives. Uh, so there you go, folks. Some uh, nifty and fun and possibly unique ideas for tampons uh, in any apocalyptic pinch. I hope you enjoyed this little journey. Um, and no, it's not that time of the month. I just happened to get a good deal on them couponing. <laughs> Take care, everyone. Healthy Brepper.